a garden in the city. Why can't we grow tomatoes? Jamal asked. He had just eaten, eaten a juicy tomato from Grandpa's farm and was licking his fingers. Because we live in an apartment building in the city, Jamal's father said with a chuckle. My friend Lucy has a roof garden, said Clara, Jamal's sister. Thus, a new idea was born. Jamal's family called a building meeting, and all of the renters from the building came. Clara showed pictures of Lucy's roof garden. Who is interested in helping us build a roof garden here? Jamal's father asked. Whoever helps will be, e will be able to grow vegetables and, of course, eat them. I'll help, exclaimed Mrs. King. I'll grow endive and some other greens for salads. I'll help and grow green beans, said Mr. Howell. Little Timmy pulled at his mother's skirt and said, I want to grow a great big pumpkin. Twelve families worked on the garden. One man from the third floor was a builder. They all carried supplies up to the roof and hammered together a structure made of wood. Then they filled it with soil and divided it into twelve parts. On planting day, the rooftop was buzzing with excitement. Jamal and Clara dug holes and gently placed their small tomato plants into the soil. Now, Jamal and Clara water their plants and pull weeds every day. They greet their neighbors and watch all the plants grow bigger. Timmy checks on his pumpkins every morning and every night. They are still small. Jamal has promised to help Timmy carve the biggest one when it is ready. Green tomatoes have begun to appear on Jamal's and Clara's plants. In a few weeks, they will turn red and will be ready to harvest. Jamal can hardly wait to taste one. Number six. Which of the following is not a vegetable that Jamal and his friends planted in the garden? A. Onions. B. Tomatoes. C. Green beans. D. Pumpkins. Number seven. This question has two parts. First answer part A, then answer part B. Part A, what can the reader infer about Jamal? A, he wants to live on a farm. B, he likes the, the taste of tomatoes. C, he enjoys living in an apartment building. D, he spends a lot of time on grandpa's farm. Part B, which detail from the passage best supports the inference above. A. He had just eaten a juicy tomato from Grandpa's farm and was licking his fingers. B. Jamal and Clara dug holes and gently placed their small tomato plants into the soil. Now, Jamal and Clara water their plants and pull weeds every day. D. Green tomatoes have begun to appear on Jamal and Clara's plants. Number eight. Which of the following sentences best states the message of this story? A. Thus, an, a new idea was born. B. Whoever helps will be able to grow vegetables and, of course, eat them. C. They greet their neighbors and watch all the plants grow bigger. D. In a few weeks, they will turn red and will be ready to harvest. Number nine. Read the sentences below. I'll help, exclaimed Mrs. Kane. I'll grow endive and some other greens for salad. What does endive most likely mean? A, a fruit. B, tools for building a garden. C, soil in which one may grow vegetables. D, a type of green vegetable. Number 10. What is the lesson that Jamal learned in the passage above? Support your conclusions with details. From the passage.